Panoxone lipopura is the most common vasculitis in childhood. It's usually triggered by a recent infection, resulting in an autoimmune disease involving abnormal deposition of IgA complexes. Although most cases are self-limiting, long-term complications like chronic kidney disease are important to identify and manage early. Before we continue, don't forget to click on the notification bell and subscribe. Let's focus on some of its risk factors first. A recent upper respiratory tract infection is typical in about 50% of patients. It's most commonly affecting children between 2 to 8 years old. Males are slightly more affected than females by a ratio of up to 2 to 1. Finally, a history of atopic conditions and allergies are also thought to be a risk factor. Moving on to its clinical features, HSP typically presents with a purpuric rash, arthralgia, abdominal pain, and renal involvement. The rash is usually symmetrical and on pressure-dependent areas like the buttocks and lower limbs. The purpura and petechiae is palpable, typically non-blanching. Although all patients have the sign, it might not be the first presenting complaint. The rash is the last symptom to remit, sometimes lasting a year. Arthralgia is common in the lower extremities, particularly the knees and ankles. Usually there's no significant effusion or warmth, although the arthritis is often acute and very painful. With kids often refusing to weight bear, it usually resolves in about three days. Gastrointestinal issues mostly occur in the form of moderate, crampy abdominal pain. It's usually diffuse with generalized tenderness secondary to IgA depositions in small vessels of the gut. Less commonly, acute abdomen can occur with bloody diarrhea and intersusception. If there are no major complications, this should hopefully go away in about a day. Finally, renal involvement can be both acute and chronic. Although it's usually mild, acute glomerulonephritis can manifest in the form of hematuria and hypertension. To assess HSP, a thorough history should be followed by a complete physical exam. This should include vitals, specifically checking for hypertension and hemodynamic stability. In terms of investigations, a urinalysis is usually the only thing you need in a classic presentation. However, you can consider others to rule out important differentials such as ITP, leukemia, and meningococcal disease. Management is usually supportive. Acute NSAIDs and paracetamol can be given to alleviate the arthritis. Steroids do provide significant relief for both severe abdo pain and joint pain, but remember it doesn't impact the rate of long-term kidney complications. The most important part of management is follow-up to identify subsequent renal involvement. This necessitates regular urinalysis and blood pressure monitoring for a whole year. Let's finish up with a review to help you remember some of this stuff about HSP. One common mnemonic is that 100% of patients have the rash, 75% have arthritis, 50% have abdo pain, and 25% have renal involvement. Thank you so much for watching Townsend Teachings. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, comment, and subscribe.